In this video, I will show my work for the proper factors in the project, which in my last video, I put down as 15, 31, 25, and 28. Proper factors are the factor, all, all factors of a, a certain number, excluding the one and itself. So if you, yeah, it's wait, one in itself, yeah. So if you were to find the proper factor of 15, we would find, no, this, um, if you were to find the factors of 15, we will find one. 3, 5, and 15, because 1 times 15 equals 15, and 3 times 5 equals 15. But as I said before, oh, this is spelled wrong, oops. I spelled it wrong, excluding, I knew something was wrong. Yeah, that looks better, okay. So if you were to find the proper factors of this, you would exclude this and this, because this is the number itself, and this is the number 1. So it would be 3 and 5, because these are the numbers that are the proper factors. So 15, the proper factors would be 3 and 5. So let's move on to 31, which I chose for my prime factor. Since prime factors only have 1 and itself, therefore 31 will have 1 and itself, which is 31. And since you prime factors exclude one in itself, 31's prime factor will be none. Okay, so let's move on to 25. 25 is a square number, and its factors, factors are 1, 5, 5, and 25. If you multiply these and this. But since there's two 5, you just cross out 1, 5, and you're left with 1, 5. Since 1 cannot be a prime factor, and 25 cannot be a prime factor too. So 25, the prime, proper factor is 5. Okay, so the last one is 28. 28 is factors... Oh, oops, not no S. Is 1, 2, 4, 7, and 14. Because... Oh my god. What's up? What's... Oh, that's right. 14 and 28. Okay, so it has 6 factors since 1 times 28 is 28. 2 times 14 is 28. 4 times 7 is 28. Since you can't have 1 or itself as a proper factor, you will choose 2, 4, 7, and 14. So therefore, the answer is 2, 4, 7, and 14. And this is my work for proper factors.